Today we're looking at borrowing. We're focusing on subtraction. We're looking at how to borrow. We usually need to, well, always <laughs> need to borrow when the bottom number is a larger number than the top number. So when the bottom number is bigger than the top number, we need to borrow from the higher column. With the numbers that we're looking at, we are focusing on two digit numbers. We have our units or our ones column and our tens column. With numbers like this, we're always going to be borrowing from our tens column and moving them into our units column or our ones column. All of these numbers up on the board, all of these problems, sorry, we will need to borrow because the bottom number is bigger than the number above it. So our first number, our first problem that we have over here, we have 91 take away 76. If we have one, can we get six out of it? No, we can't because it's only one. So what we will need to do then is go to the nines column, our tens. So we're going to knock on the door, cross out our nine because it's going to be lending us some of its, some of its value. So our nine becomes an eight because we've taken one away from it. That one goes over to join the one next to it. Now we have 11. Can we do, uh, get six out of 11? So if we have 11, that's really hard to do with our fingers. So 10 and 11 is higher than six. I like to do this a bit of a backwards way because it makes it a little bit quicker. We're going to count from six and see how many it takes us to get to 11. So please count with me. We have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How many did it take for us to get to 11? Five. So keeping it all in line with our units column, we write our answer of five. Now jumping to our tens, we have eight take away seven. And what's eight take away seven? So we're gonna count from seven, see how long it takes us to get to eight. So we have seven, eight. And our answer is one. So our final answer for our first problem is 15. Let's try that again with our next problem. We have 74 take away 28. Now if I have four, can I get eight from it? No, I can't because four is smaller than eight. So we're going to need to borrow. Which column are we going to borrow from? Exactly, we're borrowing from our tens. So we're going to cross out our seven, and our seven loses one, which makes that six. Our four then gets 10 from the 70, and our four becomes 14. So now we have 14 take away eight. So let's count up from eight and see how long it takes us to get to 14. How many numbers do we need to get from eight to 14? So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 6. So our answer here is 6. Now we have 6 take away 2. We're going to use our same skills. So we're going to count how, long, how, how many numbers between 6 and 2. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many numbers was that? What is, what's our final answer? Four. And that brings us to 46. We're gonna try that again. 42 take away 87. If we have two, can we get seven out of two? No, we can't because two is smaller than seven. So we're going to have to Knock next door. I'm going to change this number because I realize this is going to be a bit too difficult and I wrote the wrong number. 
I meant to write 27. 42 take away 27. So we're going to go from our 2. Knock next door. We're going to cross out our 4 because our 4 is going to give 10 away. So our 4 becomes 3. And that 1 between our 3 and our 4 comes over here to our 2 and makes it 12. Now we're going to calculate the difference between 7 and 12. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What's our answer for our units column? 5. Now we have 3 take away 2. We're going to use our same skills. What's the difference between 3 and 2? So we're going to count up 2, 3. And that one gives us our answer of 15. Our last number that we have on the board, we have 66. Take away 19. Now, if I have 6, can I get 9 out of that? No, I can't because 6 is a smaller number than 9. So we're going to have to knock and borrow next door. So our 6 in our 10's column gets crossed out because it's going to give away some of its own value. And our 6 becomes 5. That 1 is going to move next door and it's going to turn our 6 into 16. Now we have 16 take away 9. So we're going to use our counting skills to see if we can work out the difference. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What was the difference? What was our final answer? You're right, it's 7. Now we have 5, take away 1. We can do this the quick way where we have 5 and we take 1 away which gives us 4. If we do it the other way, we're going to count the difference. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that gives us our final answer of 47. What I would love to see from all of you guys, find the biggest number you can make using your borrowing. Sorry, let me say that again. I want all of you guys to practice your borrowing using the biggest number that you can make. So, if we use these same skills, we can practice our borrowing with a number like this. 9, 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. Take away 1, 3, 4, 7, 5, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. If you are up to it, I'd like to see you guys practicing with a number like this. Find the biggest number that you can, practice your borrowing skills. If you're having a little bit of trouble, try breaking this up into smaller numbers. Use some smaller numbers to practice your skills and look at some of the activities that are attached and some of the activities that are in Study Ladder. Good luck!